Okay, well, I just voted. Uh, straight party ticket. Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, pouring down rain. Uh, I got here just before 7 o'clock. Took an Uber. The uh, cab driver uh, lectured me that I should be voting for Donald Trump. So now I'm going to call an Uber and head home and hope I don't get a lecture from another Trump supporter. Okay, uh, so you just saw that little video that I made with my Panasonic LX7, which now seems small. This now seems small. I've left that in my pocket, of course. Now that I have this camera here, Panasonic, uh, this one that I slip in my, this one I took to the to go vote, now seems like a small camera. When I picked it up, it's like, my God, this thing's small. So, uh, I'm in Texas, Fort Worth, Texas. Let me just repeat. And uh, today is November 8th, 2016, voting day. Polls here in Texas open at 7 a.m. and close at 7 p.m. I got there a little bit, be I took an Uber, got there a little bit before 7 a.m. There was, oh, about 15, 18 people ahead of me in line. Raining, pouring down rain. And, uh, and quite a few people lined up, you know, same number behind me about the time the doors opened up to go in. And uh, very easy to vote because uh, paper ballot and nothing on one side only. There were no uh, voter propositions, no um, uh, amendments or changes, just strictly, you know, the presidential and senator and and representative and uh, judges and that type of stuff. And so, I mean, you have the option of just doing the straight ticket. I just filled in the thing for straight Democratic ticket and turned it in, taken care of. Uh, so going over, I, I took it, it cost me $5.50 for an Uber to take me, it wasn't very far. Uh, the guy that picked me up, I don't know, he was, uh, went the wrong way, he went the wrong way, he didn't, you know, he didn't want to, but it didn't, it didn't cost me anymore, but it just, uh, he asked, what seems to be like a trend, he asked right away, oh, are you, you ex-military? And I said, no. Nope. And then he I was going to do everything I could to avoid, you know, well, I said I was going to go voting. I said I'm voting at the uh, church over there. And he said, oh, I thank you for, uh, thank you for voting. I he says, I was U.S. Marine Corps and, uh, uh, you know, we uh, swore the oath and uh, we uh, made it possible for people to, I said, yeah, I, you know, we appreciate it. And, you know, some of you, some of you guys, you know, made the supreme sacrifice for our rights, and uh, we appreciate it and everything. And then he, uh, I forget how he, he how he slipped into it, but right away he, uh, you know, well, I hope you're, I hope you're writing this, voting the right way. This is, this is a, not an election just between uh, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. This is about socialism. This is the preventing socialism that we all have fought for. This is to keep the socialism. And uh, then I can't remember exactly how he, but anyway, made it very plain. Then before long, it's very plain that he is for, you know, for Trump. And uh, I kept, it was only a, <laughs> it was a short drive even with him not knowing which in the hell way to go. Uh, but I mean, it, it, it came down to, well, I said, well, I'm sorry, I'm going to be canceling out your, vo your vote. And he said, oh, I, I'm, I, I'm canceling out your vote. And uh, by the way, I gave him five stars. Uh, 
you know, it's his livelihood, it's his business, and he was an asshole and stupid, but I gave him five stars. Um, but he shouldn't talk politics, or if he talks politics, it ought to be so generic, you know, yeah, well, it's good to vote, you know. But uh, he said, well, at least uh, at least uh, at least Trump hasn't killed anybody. Now, you know who has uh, Hillary? You know Clinton killed Benghazi. You know what? An American diplomat and a couple others died, which is a tragedy and she was Secretary of State, and they did 14 investigations. The Republicans spent millions upon millions of dollars, 14 investigations of that, and found no wrongdoing. And the Republican congressmen admitted that they were just doing it politically to trash Hillary Clinton. But when Ronald Reagan was president, 291 or 293 Marines died at the U.S. barracks in uh, Lebanon and two or three embassies were attacked and a couple of amb ambassadors were killed and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff and there was one investigation. Uh, under Bush there was several uh, diplomats killed and embassies attacked and there were no investigations. I mean it's just fucking, you know. Um, Oh, and then, uh, I forget exactly how it, how it came up, but he said, uh, well, you know, that the military, he said, I've served with a whole bunch of, well, somebody came up about uh, serving men in the military or whatever, and uh, he says, you know, uh, oh, that was that, uh, Clinton, Clinton never served in, you know, never served in the military. And I said, well, awful, very few people are serving, you know, serving in the military. And then uh, uh, he said something about politicians, and I said, uh, very few politicians or people that have money, their sons don't, you know, I guess I should have said sons and daughters don't usually serve in the military. And he said, well, I served with a lot of Republicans in the military. I said, well, I was talking about people that have money and politician sons or whatever, and I said, it's very rare. I said, the, the, the few that there are, are almost always Democrats, the sons of, uh, of Democrats, very, t very few times, is it? And he said uh, something, and I said, uh, oh, he said, well, Clinton never served, and I said, well, Trump didn't serve either. I said, uh, Trump got a number of student deferments, and uh, then he got himself classified as one Y. I said, I ended up one Y, but I said, I was 40 pounds. I tried to enlist repeatedly. I was 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement and had hearing loss in both ears, and I tried to get into the military. He didn't. He tried to get out of the military. And he said, the driver says, uh, that's not proven. And I said, that's proven. He, did, he admits it. He's talked about it. It's proven. He tried to, he did everything, he took student deferments, which people are entitled to, and then he got out because he had a bad heel. And uh, about that time the riot ended. Uh, the next driver too asked if I was in the, when he picked me up, he was now the next guy, was, it seemed like a nice guy. Uh, he asked if I'd been in the military and I said no, that uh, he said he, I think he said he served in, oh I know, sort of started. I said, well, I'm going to vote, and uh, he said, well, great. I said, uh, first president I voted for was John F. Kennedy, and I said, I'm 75 years old, and I'm not sure how many more presidents I'll be voting for. And he said, well, I voted for John F. Kennedy, too. Uh, he says, I was in the uh, military in Germany at the time, and I said, oh, well, thank you for your service. I said, I was going to welding school in uh, Ohio. I had to vote by absentee ballot for John F. Kennedy. And then, somehow I forget exactly how, but uh, it, I could tell that he was, and I was trying not to pretend he, whatever he said, but you know, 
and I said uh, something about that I you know I had um, when I went to I had a, a, an older cousin that was in the military and I wanted to be going to the military and make a career and I said so I went to a military high school and uh, I said when I got out of high school I tried to get I tried to get into the military, but I was 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement. I said, I didn't know they had a minimum weight requirement. He said, I didn't either. And I said, I always forgot the fact that my hearing was really bad. That would have kept me out also. And uh, I said, I was classified as 1Y, uh, fit for military only in the event of national emergency or something like that. And I said, I didn't know until I read when uh, Donald Trump decided to run for office, it they talked about him not being in the military and the fact that he got a number of student deferments and that he got uh, uh, then he finally got a medical deferment which was, and he was classified as one Y and I said I didn't know until they were talking about this in the, in the news that uh, the one Y classifications were all changed to four F, and I said all those years I thought, well, I'm, you know, I'm not a four F, I'm a one Y, and then I find out because of Donald Trump that I, my classification was changed to four uh, F, and uh, so he said uh, something about. Uh, What's it? How did we? He said. Oh, he says. Well, uh, a lot of things are said about uh, Donald Trump that uh, that aren't true. And I said, well, a lot of things are said about a lot of politicians that aren't true. And then a lot of things are said about politicians that are true. I said, uh, the one thing I do know for sure is I went to a military high school for four years, and Donald Trump went to a military high school for four years. And recently, when he was asked about the military or whatever, he said because he went to a military high school for four years, that he knew more that he knew more about the military than a lot of the guys who served in the military. And I said, I never said that. I said Donald Trump said that. And then it was time for me to get out of the car. So anyway, I voted. Um, of course, I voted for Hillary Clinton. Voted a straight Democratic ticket. I'm not sure, maybe I'm repeating myself because I can't remember. Uh, I got there just before it, the polls opened. There was about 15 to 18 people there ahead of me. And then right pretty quick before the doors opened, there was a, a, that number probably behind me. Voting moved pretty quickly because it was a paper ballot and uh, I just checked voting the entire Democratic ticket. I was out of there pretty pretty quick. I don't normally watch the election returns. I just do something else. Tonight I think I'm going to be watching because I think it is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see who who turns out for the, you know, for the election. I mean, or, or Donald Trump people. It sort of sounds like, you know, that he's got a hard core of uh, people who will be getting out. Be, it, it's going to be interesting to see uh, uh, yeah, the election's going to, I think it's going to, well, now of course I've, I've been wrong in my life a couple times. I said that Donald Trump would not run for office, you know, for president, because I knew he had all that because he was stupid and yuck, I mean, you know, God. <laughs> and I knew he knew that he had all that baggage, all that stuff that he's done and said. And I thought, no, somebody like that is not going to run for, you know, political office. That stuff's going to be kind. And and two, because of the history of the way things have gone, his candidacy was crazy. Uh, Mondale, I think it was, when Mondale was running for president, I think he was in New Hampshire or someplace like that. And for some reason, he teared up. Something was brought up. I don't know. If it was a death of military person or a child or what. He teared up. That was the end of his. That was it. That was the end of his career. Uh, 
the Democrat, what's his name, uh, was married and had a, not Edwards, uh, the one before that, way back. He had a girlfriend or whatever, and uh, he, the news media, somebody asked him if he had a girlfriend or something, and I, he said, follow me. They did, and they saw him on a boat with a girl, or a girlfriend or something. That was the end of him. Um, who was the guy who, the doctor, who was running recently, uh, anyway, he, my daughter, actually, who I, I didn't like this guy, he was running for Democratic president, for the, you know, for the party, and uh, trying to get the nomination, and my daughter was working with him, traveling with his team, and uh, trying to get him elected. She was a supporter of a Dean. Yeah, I think that was Dean. I didn't like him. I don't know why. I mean, I instinctively, there's a lot of people like Richard Nixon from the very before he was, before he was elected, before he was vice president with, uh, I never liked him. I could just look at him as a guy I don't like. Been a few others. Um, and maybe that's not, but anyway, but I didn't, I didn't like him. My daughter was for him. And uh, he's the guy who was in a room with a whole bunch of reporters, a whole bunch of people, and they were announcing some returns or something or other, and he yell, you know, he's yelling out, I don't know, I don't know what he was yelling, you know, go campaign or whatever, yelling, yelling, yelling out. Well, the news, somebody in the news, the news media released that video of him yelling at the top of his lungs. That was it. It was over. That he just looked like you know he was yelling at the top of his lungs, and people thought, yep, "Don't like him." That's the end of him. Uh, since my daughter was my daughter was in the room uh, with him, and I asked her about that, and she explained that they they hadn't set up a, a PA system in the room. They weren't expecting there to be a a, uh, questions and answered or anything like that. There was no PA system and the noise in there was deafening. You couldn't hear, you know, you couldn't hardly hear anything. And so he was yelling and doing that so that he could be heard and that was, that was the end of him. But then, so I never thought Trump would be, with the things that he would say, I thought, no, okay, <laughs> no way. So I was wrong about that. Uh, and I didn't think that he would get, I didn't, out of out of the clowns they had up there, the 10 or Republicans, maybe there was a couple of decent people there, but God, God. That's because of the, uh, what's a court case? That corporations and rich people can spend unlimited amounts of money. Uh, that's freedom of speech, and a corporation is a person entitled to free speech. Oh God! Because of that, that actually the Republican Party, and they love, they love that. But that's what bit them in the ass this time. They could have beat Hillary Clinton if they'd put up uh, Romney, if they'd put up anybody other than Donald Trump. They could have beaten uh, Hillary Clinton. And what's going to happen is she's going to have a landslide, you know, it's going to be a landslide for the Democrats, for Hillary Clinton, because of the Republicans and because of the their support of that. That's what screwed them up because they had so many people up on their uh, debate. And those people that were there, I'm in Texas, and Rick Perry if you're someplace else, you think, well, Rick Perry was really popular in Texas. And he may have been when he, when he was governor and up until, but towards the end, people decided, you know, Rick, Texans had, had decided, uh, you know, fuck him and the horse that he didn't ride in on. And so by the time that he got up there on, with some backing from somebody, 
corporation or individual who just decided, I'm going to back this person. So then he's up there taking up space and dividing up the votes, you know, uh, spreading, splitting it up. If it had been Donald Trump and a couple of, of other people up there instead of 10 other people, these other people would have gotten, you know, a big slice of the vote, and Donald Trump would have got a little, you know, a little slice. But because you have all these people, so each one of them gets a little bit, and then Donald Trump's little bit is actually a little bit bigger than the, so they fucking screwed themselves, the Republicans did. You, they just never learn, and they're so bad for the nation because they're so fucking stupid to do that. But anyway, I never thought that I never thought that once Donald Trump got the, I just can't believe that, how can somebody, of course there's, what, Edwards? I was for John Edwards. I liked John Edwards back when, which, uh, you know, family man, a uh, bunch of children, a wife with cancer, and... Then it turns out, you know, that he's having an affair with another woman. So I have been wrong, but in this in this vote, I had no problem. I have no problem at all. I do not understand how anybody could possibly vote. I know he's going to get millions of votes for Donald Trump. I don't understand how anybody could possibly. I, mean, I don't understand how anybody. I, what? How can you be so stupid? I mean, are you, if you're voting for Donald Trump, okay, there's a very small number of people who, if he were to win, you know, they would get an appointment, uh, they get an office, uh, they may slide in on his, into, a, a, you know, a, a, a local state as a representative, or, you know, you could, there's some people, small sliver of people that, yeah, okay, you know, you're going to be, get some office with him, some benefit, yeah. But for the rest of the people, how can you be, okay, you're either mentally ill, you need to seek, get some please, get some psych, if you're voting for Donald Trump, if you're in that class, if you're mentally ill, please get, you know, some psychiatric help. If you're stupid, I don't know how you can get smartened up but, you know, but you're stupid. Well, what other group could be in, you know? Well, of course you have the Klan and uh, crazy people who think the government can't tell them what to, you know, what to do that have their, you know, that don't understand, you know. How can religious people, he went, remember Donald Trump went before the, which is that big church, not Oral Roberts, but the one that uh, Bible College or whatever, and the you know the the Bible College requires all of the students there to you know be moral, upright people, unlike Donald Trump, and they're also required to you know if they do anything at that college, <laughs> yeah, probably the wrong T-shirt or wearing your pants too low or, I mean, anything, and it's, you know, and so Donald Trump goes there and wish I could remember what he's, you know, takes a chapter of, of whatever in it, you know, he gets it wrong, so wrong that the students who are forced to be there, you will attend, you know, this thing or else, you know, you will be there. And they're there, and they laugh out loud several times. And then, of course, it, I don't think it was there that Donald Trump was asked, you know, uh, what's your favorite Bible passage? And Donald Trump couldn't come up with a, you know. So how, and then, of course, his morale, you know, lack of morals. How can, how can religious people, I don't even see it when you come down to some people are, which is 
which is stupid. You know, our one issue people, abortion, uh, guns, they have these one, but that's, that's totally stupid too. You know, there might be, but how can, how can even those people, you know, guns, you can't take our pride of guns from our cold, dead hands. You know, Donald Trump was a, came out in favor of gun control in the past. Of course, he changed his opinion. Uh, just there's no reason that the only people. Of course, you have the you know the Klan and these other crazy people. Now, the, the only, I can think of a group of people who, if you're an anarchist, if you hate the United States of America, if you hate the government, if you want to see the United States brought down, destroyed, you want to see everything go wrong, then okay, I can see, okay, this is the guy. This is, this is the guy who can put an end to the United States of America. He, he's stupid. He doesn't know doesn't know anything. I don't think he even knows about business, but maybe he does on that. I doubt it, because he doesn't seem to know. It. Because he's one of those people who won't listen to anybody and who thinks he knows everything. I've worked with people, you know, like, of course, nobody, I haven't worked with anybody like Donald Trump. I've worked with people who are racist. I mean, I've worked for people, you know, a supervisor who was racist or something. But I never... Donald Trump is unique, at least unique to be in a position that he's in. Possibly, you know, he's not going to be elected president of the United States. It's going to be a disastrous, uh, but he won't care. He'll say that he, he was cheated. He'll say that millions of people voted who weren't entitled. I mean, it's just this craziness. But uh, that, that may be the people who want to bring down now I can see there are some people out there who have gotten really screwed by the system, by the Democrats and the Republicans. And I can see where they would be justifiably entitled to be upset, but still not, you don't go to somebody, no matter how pissed off you are, you don't go to somebody who has, who's going to, who could be elected to the president of the, you know, be the presidency of the United States, who could have his finger on the button who could launch nuclear weapons or whatever. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't understand it. I'm going to be watching the election returns tonight. I, I don't see how anything could come out in the returns tonight that's going to uh, make me feel good about everything. I mean, Hillary Clinton, in my opinion, is going to win major, big time. And I'm glad of that, thank God. But back in 2000, I did the uh, work for the U.S. Census Bureau for the, along with thousands and thousands of others. I don't know how many Americans. I did the 2000 census in Cass County, Missouri, a rural county. Uh, I'd say it's a redneck, redneck county. Uh, so anyway, I went uh, door to door, and that was the year that, um, or the census that we did. Forget what it was, like every sixth or seventh person got a long form that we had to ask them the questions for the long form. Oh my God. So that was one of the most, I was, I wish I could have done the 2010 census. That made me, that renewed my faith in America and in the American people in the goodness of the American people and in, in our entire nation. That was, that was wonderful. The people I went to, I only had one person, only one person who 
you know, get off of my porch, I, you know, you're, you have no right to ask me any questions, get off, don't you come back, and, you know, and then I was trying to, sir, can I, get off, I don't you come back, sir, could I, you know, he would let me explain. Well, I might come back to that, because that's an interesting thing. <laughs> but that was, that was only one person. Now, there was two or three others who said, I don't know if I want to answer the questions. And I said, well, why don't we just go over the questions? If there's a question you object to, you know, let me try to explain to you why the question is being asked. Uh, if you don't want to answer the question, then you just don't answer the question. Let's just, and they went through and answered all, you know, went through and answered it. So this one guy was an asshole out of weeks and weeks of doing the, uh, doing the census. And um, I went to, I don't know how many places where they had adopted children, where they had interracial children they had adopted, where they had adopted handicapped children, where they had taken children from, uh, not taken, but they had uh, children from other nations that they had taken in. Uh, just all, it was just, that was America. That was, you know, uh, really I was impressed by everybody. Just for the heck of it, you're not interested in this. Let me go back to that one asshole who we know who he would be voting, you know, who he's going to be voting for if he hasn't killed somebody uh, for coming onto his property or something like that. Let me go back to that uh, person. Well, let me let me mention one thing about the, the census. There are very few things. Are, Founding Fathers did a fantastic job on the Constitution of the United States. Oh, unbelievable how how lucky we were to have those men back then and that they could pull together this Constitution and the way it was uh, formulated, you know, separations of power, checks and balances, all that thing was just great. But like the, some of the crazy right wing, like the Bundys or whatever, uh, and the people who scream there, the federal, the, there's no right for the federal government doesn't have any rights and uh, it's not in the, con they, the income tax is not in the Constitution, they don't have any right to tax us and all this kind of crap, you know. Uh, there was a lot, there was, the Constitution was filled in, you know, George Washington did a fantastic job. Unbelievable, just how great those founding fathers were. One of the few things, you know, you get these right-wing people, oh, I'm not going to answer the census question, and they don't have any right. One of the few things in the Constitution is that a census shall be taken every 10 years, and, you know, that's one of the few things in there. Um, and two, like that census thing that I, I, I did, I watched the C-SPAN hearings and Democrats and Republicans, but especially Republicans, but Democrats and Republicans, both sides, every question that, you know, that the Department of Commerce, the people who were doing the, the census, all of the questions that they came up with to be asked, they had to go, they went before Congress and Congress was, you know, sitting there and took every one. Why? Here is this question being asked, and the Census Bureau had to explain why that information was needed and required, because Congress had passed laws stating that, you know, veterans' hospitals will be built in uh, areas where there are, I mean, all these type of things. So it was all spelled, if all those questions had been vented by Democrats and Republicans. Exactly. If there was one thing that shouldn't have been asked, that was whatever, Congress would not have allowed it to be asked. But, so anyway, when this guy orders me off his property, when I said, well, sir, could I, well, he said, no, you know, so. So what I wanted to say was, well, sir, I'm sorry that you're, you know, that you're upset or whatever, but let me explain to you what's going to happen now. What, of course, since I never, I couldn't do it, he wouldn't let me, you know, but. I was going to say, you know, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to send out another census taker. 
to see if they can get it done. When you order that person off the property, what's going to happen is that a supervisor is going to come out and he's going to see if he can get it done. When you order him off of your property, what's going to happen is they're going to go to your neighbors. They're going to go to your neighbors and they're going to say, do you know who lives in that house over there? Do you know, depending on which form you were to get, you know, and do you know how many people live there? They're going to ask those questions of your neighbors. <laughs> and uh, I think if I, but anyway, I, I couldn't get to that uh, point. So, so I voted and it's uh, almost 9 a.m. and I never watched the returns. Uh, like I said before, I'm going to, tonight is going to be interesting to see. I think that right away, that as soon as the returns start coming in almost right away, I forget, I think, I don't think the news media is allowed. I think there's a law or something that they can't declare. I think what's going to happen, what could happen, but I don't think it's allowed, is that almost immediately as soon as the East Coast, East Coast, East Coast, does their voting, that the computers or whatever are, could say landslide for Hillary Clinton, but they're not going to be allowed to do that. They're going to have to wait for. But I think it's going to be pretty clear from the very beginning that that. Uh, but I was wrong about. Uh, I was wrong about something once in my life, maybe. So maybe. Maybe tomorrow morning we will have the president-elect will be Donald Trump. You think that's going to happen? Anybody, have any Canadians watching this video? How can I get Canadian citizenship? Thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Why do I want a thumbs up? I guess I don't need a thumbs up. I don't make any money if you give a thumbs up. Uh, I don't make any money if you comment. If you watch the video I, and you see an ad, I, I guess I could make some money. I've got a, over 600 YouTube videos here and I make about $30 a month from YouTube. And I've been doing YouTube videos since they started, what, 2005? Of course I was doing streaming video before there was a uh, YouTube, before there was a Google, before there was a Facebook. Uh, all those Johnny come lately. Well, let me say, I try to get along with everybody and I try to always see the other person's point of view and, and I always try to forgive, you know, if, if you're a Donald Trump supporter, yeah, nah, fuck you.